What is going on guys? Wiser here coming in with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. This was the war of the year for us. This was our arranged matchup versus Poetic Darkness. These guys are absolutely awesome. They've taken down pretty much every top fair play clan you can you can even think of. Um, we knew we were going to have our hands full coming into this war and absolutely rallied together and just, you know, was an awesome Awesome showing for 2.0. Uh, came out the gate. Our nines were on point. Just getting so many fresh hit triples. Just really set the tens up well. Tens came through. Elevens came through. Everyone. Like the whole family. Super. Never been more proud of the 2.0 family as I, as I was this weekend. Um, just unbelievable showing. So Poetic Darkness, thank you for the opportunity for this match. Because uh, I definitely don't think you or many people, if any people in the class world, were expecting this 113 to 111 victory for 2.0 fantastic job um let's just kind of go over things here <clears throat> this three star by poetic darkness actually i thought uh, sure our whole client thought was potentially going to be uh, the difference in the war now um fortunately for us pd left three tens on the board i know that's very uncharacteristic of them uh they missed a few attacks um i believe it was dan's base and nina nina held a few attacks but I believe Dan's base held uh, six attacks from PD and it still did not get tripled, uh, including some bully fails, 93% off their number three there, 86% off their number one. So I know uh, know we caught him on a bad day because that is very uncharacteristic. Characteristic. We were, definitely thought it was going to come down to TH11 triples. It did not. We took away the victory and I'm just so proud of the effort. Um, by my clan today is just unbelievable guys i love you all uh fantastic job uh and again thank you pd for uh for giving us this opportunity uh you can see we uh we did pretty good we got uh twos on all of their stuff up top no problems there whatsoever in fact even had a town hall nine step up and get a very nice two star on this number seven base we got ton of of 10 versus 10 triples to show you this recap is going to be really long guys grab a beer grab a coffee uh you know go uh, go get yourself a seat because we're in for a long long recap i got a lot of replays i want to show fantastic job all the way down no bullies necessary got a few in obviously on the 10s from our 11s but that's pretty standard these days <clears throat> so let's just jump right in uh i did want to start this off let's check out this uh this hit by frank um you know, a Town Hall 9 snake in a 2-star, never mind a 62% 2-star, is a pretty big deal in a war of this caliber. I think part of it was a bit of an error on um, this number 7's base design. You know, you want, you're doing an anti-3. You still want to kind of make it anti-2. You do not want to make it easy for a 10 or a uh, 9, especially, to jump up and get a 62% 2-star. So let's go ahead and check this out. Ah, all right, recap juice is ready. Let's watch some replays. Frankie boy, his queen does serious work on this raid. Just absolute beautiful job. Uh, you know, town all nine army, town all nine spells. And just watch him go to town. Gets that baby D now, nice little archer. Getting that funnel going for the queen. Uh, the Tesla pops there, gives him a little bit of trouble, but ends up not being a big deal at all. Queen's going to go ahead and walk on in here. And you're going to see all four of these rages. <laughs> Are all for the queen. Now, the idea for this is uh, what I was saying about the mistake. There's a lot of DPS here, but that town hall is walkable. Now, the fact that the town hall is walkable means Frankie can walk in with four rages, only a level 29 queen. But see him overlap the rages there? You have to do that. Town hall 11 defenses are no joke whatsoever. If you have a level 4 expo and even a level 30 queen uh, with any sort of point defense or anything else shooting her, she is going down. So make sure you rage your queen um, nice and early. Keep her nice and high health. Gets that other rage down overlapping again. Probably has to hit the ability here, I believe, against the king. Because that level 40 king is just going to town on her. Down goes the king. Queen is going to step up here in one sec. And then down goes the queen in three, two, oh, maybe not. I swear, uh, I swear she took out the queen here. Maybe not. Anyhow, king goes down. A little suicide king action with that giant in there. Got baby D's all over the round, around the base now. He's got the town hall. It's all about percentage at this point. And when you got still, still six baby D's in the bag there, I'm, um, you know, I might have dropped a couple more while, um, 
uh, while this tanking was going on, right for this queen right here, I would have started dropping maybe one baby D here, one baby D here. Keep her out of the, keep him out of range of this air defense. Um, these very new meta bases with these uh, very exposed air defense. That's something uh, that is a bit of a theme for our town hall tens. Um, grounded, exposed, and exposed air defense. Uh, we have learned. Uh, dragons are your best bet, uh, maybe not against the Town Hall 11, but definitely 10 versus 10, as you're going to find out lots of dragon attacks incoming. But just a beautiful job by Frankie Boy here, getting us his, uh, you know, for Town Hall 9, very high percentage two star hit here. Um, as you can see, 62%. Beautiful. Frankie, awesome job, buddy. Frank is one, there's a, only a few members now. I've been on one, I've been in at least the 2.0 family for about a year and a couple months. I'm um, trying to think, I'd say at least eight, nine, maybe 10 months. Yeah, it took me a few months to get into 2.0. So probably like 10 months I've been in 2.0. So there's only a handful of guys, um, you know, obviously Mouthpiece and Hood Rat, um, you know, my my original co-co-leaders, we have more co-leaders now, but uh, Hoodie and Mouthpiece took me in when I was just a just a little elder. And, uh, you know, those guys are awesome. But guys like Frank and Sean and Andrew, um, I hope I'm not missing anyone. And this is all, there, there are some people too that were here before, but they also left for a short amount of time. So I'm not including those people. But there, there's a few, only a few guys. Frank's one of them. Frank just, you know, has just been very consistent for us recently and has really stepped up. So thanks a lot, Frankie. You, very nice hit. Okay, let's move on because I got a lot to show. Go right back down to the bottom. 39, Mike O. Bringing this uh, P.E.K.K.A. smash. Uh, a lot of Town Hall 8 defenses here, point defenses at least. Uh, so is really going to utilize these P.E.K.K.A.s here. Um, bringing uh, one goal, I believe, with some bowlers in the Clan Castle. Goes ahead and drops that queen down using the baby drag. Do a little bit of tanking for her, get her raid in. Only two healers on the queen because she's not going to be taking a lot of point defense. And when she does, it's Town Hall 8 defenses. Uh, so she's going to be A-OK. -okay. She's going to get the uh, get rid of this air defense, kind of get the whole funnel of this side of the base created. She's going to step up, take care of the arch tower, and in comes this golem. Wall breakers are in and successful after the tests, of course. <laughs> Queen's taking a little bit of damage, had to drop a third healer because that expo locked on, unfortunately. But in come the P.E.K.K.A.s, the, the funnel's created, just letting them raid on into this base. Go ahead, get a jump spell down, let everything into the core. P.E.K.K.A.s are going to walk up and just start blasting through this stuff, even though those Teslas are there. Oh, a little bit of a distraction from those skeletons. Back they go over top, poison down over the golem. Uh, not really needed. I would have pushed it back a little bit on top of that queen. But the P.E.K.K.A.s just ripped through that golem in two seconds. Down it goes. Uh, everything's going to be right up in that queen's face here now in a second. Bam, bam, bam. Down goes the defensive king. Down goes the defensive queen. See you later. <coughs> then it's a matter of cleanup, right? Send any, a few sort of surgical hogs around the outside. Uh, these P.E.K.K.A.s are going to get uh, pretty good value. There's no more healers left. Uh, there are these little builder sets in the corner. He's always got to be mindful of, but he's got four archers just for that purpose. And there's not a lot of point defense left, right? A couple mortars, a Tesla, and a cannon to go. And he's still got a P.E.K.K.A. up, his king up with the ability, the queen at full health. Bowlers walking around the base. Lots of cleanup troops. Definitely going to be a treat in the bag here for my boy, Mike O. Very nice utilizing those P.E.K.K.A.s. Actually, uh, P.D. used an attack. I believe it was a four P.E.K.K.A. hit on one of our bases. Very, very nice. Definitely check out their site, guys. They're going to have a really good recap of this war as well. Uh, ah, tree in the bag. Nice job, buddy. Moving on here. We have 38. Good old Robbie. Showing us a cold blood of Lalo. Now, uh, all this air defense is not in the queen chamber. It's a very small queen chamber. So you can imagine if this wall wasn't here. It's basically like that. So Rob drops a couple balloons. Just takes care of this mortar. He wants to be able to keep everything on sort of, um, or sorry, this guy he wants to keep this golem from wandering over. He wants to just keep moving forward. He wants to move everything into this compartment, jump over. So the queen gets unlocked. He gets access to two air defense um, and not a heck of a lot of point defense. These expos are on the other side of the base. So this golem's going to get pretty good value. Let all the, uh, let the heroes raid in. Here they go. 
taking care of this stuff. Hits the raid spell, just misses the queen, but it's fine. She's going to step up in one moment. Poison goes down, take care of the queen and the CC troops. Going to have to get that king ability here in one second. There it goes. Lock it on to that defensive queen. Down she goes. Queen under the raids there is going to get that second air defense down. And then he's got a quad Lalo for this back end. Four Lava Hounds for only two air defense. A lot of the base left, right? He's only got about 28% of the base from this kill squad. But very, very key, key uh, structures, right? Two air defense, uh, the queen, the king, or not the king, the queen and the uh, CC troops. So in come the first two Lava Hounds. Max one is in, spreading those balloons out nice. Two per defense. Haste spell goes down, letting a, letting everything just push right on into this uh, first air defense. Gets the first Lava Hound to burst. These grounded Expos are not helping at, at all. Uh, that's why you'll see a lot of our attacks were very focused with air. Almost every single one of Poetic Dark uh, PDs, we'll just say, uh, Expos were pointed to the ground. And, uh, you know, it's that's a tricky thing about building your bases. Um but ground, I find, is is definitely the attack to defend. But at least in mine, you'll always find one expo pointed up at least just to help prevent this. It might not prevent it, obviously. Um, but that's why we chose a lot of air attacks because it just gives you that extra little uh, little push on your air attack. So the swag haste goes down. Got to get over to that mortar ASAP. Oh, down goes the mortar. <laughs> down goes the base. Pops everywhere. Just smashed it. Nice cold-blooded quad Lalo from Robbie. Boom, tree in the bag. Awesome. Next up, let's check out 34. Mouthpiece 2.0's leader. Showing us how it's done with these dragons and two golems. Generally, don't see a, a shattered entry when you're going these uh, Town Hall 9 dragons. Uh, but MP wants to get nice push and get a good jump over this core. And once you, if you place a jump spell right here, and I believe he's also got bowlers in the CC, uh, he's got access essentially to four air defenses. I don't think he gets them all. I believe this one at three o'clock is left open. Uh, but we're going to find out here in a second. Let's get this entry going. Two golems are in. Uh, same idea as that last tag we saw with Rob. Just wants to get both golems into this, get a lot of tanking, get this jump spell over the core, let everything in. Here come the bowlers from the CC, like I said. Raid spell is going to go down. Air Defense 1 is down, Air Defense 2 is down, taking Teslas, taking Arch Towers, getting big value out of this kill squad. It's that bomb trigger nice and early. Air Defense number 3 is about to go down, down it goes. So you can go ahead and send in these 5 dragons. He's got a Lava Hound to do some tanking for them. So here comes a dragon on the outside, just wants to start the funnel process. It's going to go down, everything's going to meet up and go right after this Air Defense. It's going to go ahead and drop a third dragon now, and any second is going to drop the Lava Hound. Lava Hound, MP, drop it. Drop the Lava Hound. So a little bit late on that Hound. He didn't want that drag taking damage. Um, and actually this Hound is probably just unnecessary altogether because the way he did his nice funneling, the, the dragon, you know, an extra dragon and even a baby dragon or a few baby dragons to help with the cleanup would have been nice because this Hound sits at full health almost literally the whole raid. But as you can see, four dragons with a Lava Hound out front doing tanking. Queen's going to lock onto the Lava Hound. Absolutely perfect. Dragons lock onto the Queen. Down goes the Queen. Down go the defenses. Just a matter of cleanup. Bam, bam, bam. And that's tree in the bag for our fearless leader. Very nice hit, buddy. Seen you practicing these drag hits on my bases. And uh, personally, I don't know. Other than really exaggerating my air defense and leaving them open other attacks, I'm not 100% how to how to defend that. You're just uh, getting really good with that MP. Uh, moving on. 34. I wanted to show 33. Max. Interesting. Good old Leo. So another air attack yet again. Uh, this was a stone. So we saw the cold-blooded from Robbie. This is the opposite. This is the a cold-blooded uh, lava hound where you're bringing a stone entry with three golems. You're going to get huge push into the base out of those three golems like uh, bowlers and your heroes in behind. Just have three golems. The idea, right, is it's just like a stone, the old school stone goho. Um, a lot of these very new meta bases allow access to a lot of things that you're not really used to you know not a lot of twisty compartments a uh, very very simple uh wall break and some jumps allows access to big parts of the base where if you get three golems going in there 
uh, out front of your heroes, out front of the bowlers primarily that come out of your CC, your king gets in there doing work. You're going to get huge value, right? The golems just last forever. So with that being said, right, second air defense is about to go down. You see these other two air defense really, really exposed on the outside. Well, you know, only one Lava Hound. It's kind of neat. This queen, I believe. No, the queen doesn't get that air defense. Does he only end up getting two air defense here? I swear he ended up getting three. But you see what I mean? Like the king, basically that whole top section has got 43% of the base taken care of. Just hits the king ability in time. Definitely late on that. So only gets a couple seconds of the ability active. And yeah, only gets two air defense out of the deal. So he only has one lab hound. But see how quickly those balloons, he doesn't need haste, doesn't need anything. Just hound and instant balloons. And the first thing that goes down within three seconds is the air defense. So boom, look at that. Let's say one Lava Hound gets all the way from 3 o'clock down to 6 o'clock. No traps, nothing. And down goes the fourth air defense. So nice haste spell. Push everything in the core. One little uh, critique, Leo, would I at this point may, may have held on to just one balloon just in case. I always seem to not have enough cleanup on my Lalos, but uh, getting really, really a lot better at that. Doesn't matter how to critique a tree star. Swag haste to boot here. Absolutely beautiful. Nice hit, Leo. I think Leo had a six pack as well. Actually, I got a lot of six pack. I wrote these down because there's so many. We had BP, who had two uh, 11 versus 10 bully uh, six pack. PJ, the 10 versus 10 star with a six pack on tens. Shaddy Boy, 10 versus 10, had a three star and a 99% 10 versus 10. You know, town all tens, just awesome, awesome war. Uh, some jerk named Wiser had a six pack as well. Forget about him. Our boy Zero. Zero was in the clan, for, has been in the clan for a long time. Um, however, you might not recognize Zero because he, a long, quite a long time ago, decided uh, during the Town Hall 11 uh, hype, he ended up uh, taking his 11 and swapping his 11 for his 9. But for this war, we needed one more 9 weight, so we ended up subbing out his 11 and bringing in his 9. He really showed us he didn't miss a beat on his Town Hall 9. Uh, absolute beast six pack for zero six pack for grady of course grady doesn't get anything except six packs uh good old uh good old try tosh had a six pack and like i said leo had a six pack a lot of guys were really close to a nice nice three stars with high 90s um so really just everyone showed up this war just absolutely fantastic job all right so let's 33 let's go to number 30 speaking of the devil himself uh i like to show uh especially also I don't like to show a lot of my attacks because I don't. I, I like to showcase uh, my clanmates and my friends. However, I also find a lot of value in showing my attacks because I can tell you exactly what I was thinking. So, real quick, I'm gonna. Uh, this was a fresh hit. Um, was this the fresh hit? Uh, this better have better been the fresh hit. Yeah, ninety-nine percent sure this was the fresh hit. Um, so with this clan castle really offset, this huge dead zone on the inside, I, I immediately noticed a few things. These air defense, both in uh, two air defense in in two you know four air defense between two compartments that makes it really easy now this attack i've been showing you this blue velar guys i'm telling you most underrated attack right now i'm not seeing any town hall nines using it jamie um taught me this uh, i've always been a velt guy and this just really utilizes um the Valks now. So the idea is right, you bring seven healers, huge investment. So what that tells you with this attack, you have to preserve those healers. Now, if you can preserve seven healers and have them heal your bowlers in the CC, which is what I'm using for the other side of the funnel, and you know, really just have the attack coordinate itself well, get your Valk pathing down, know where it's going to go. Um, you're going to have a ton of success with this attack, guys. I'm telling you, even with air mines attacking uh, healers, it does not make a difference. You have seven of them. If you lose one, it's not a big deal. So I wanted to get this clan castle pulled out before she engaged the heroes or even really any defenses. So you're going to see that. Take care of the clan castle. I do not have to use my ability, which is awesome. Poison goes down. I'm going to take care of this whole side section. Now, um, on top of getting the clan castle, both heroes, uh, I figured that these healers, if she walks to the right, because this, this this is going to go down, I figured she was going to get sucked in over here and even walk up, and that's what happens. These air defense are not in range of the healers. They're just going to go right across this wall and be safe the entire time, keeping my queen safe and dandy. So that just leaves the other side of the base. So I leave some bowlers here with a few more healers. Same thing on this side because of the very symmetrical air defense. I can walk bowlers basically from 9 straight up to 12, and they're going to be fine the entire time. Just getting value the whole way. And essentially at the same time, create the funnel for my Valks. All this is going to be dead. 
All this is going to be dead. I send the Valks in here. There's only one way for them to path, and it's basically straight up and through the core. I have to make a slight adjustment, hit my ability early in my queen to kill that clan castle there, because some of the Valks do stray and start hitting that wall. As soon as the clan castle dies, they end up going back to the core, meet up with the kill squad, everything goes up and dandy, and we're good. Let's check it in live action here. So out climbs that clan castle nice and early, down goes the poison, down goes the rage. <clears throat> if you time it perfectly, guys, you... You can get away with this CC comp without hitting your ability. However, I will say this over and over again. When a baby drag and Valks come out of the clan castle, be very careful and do not hesitate to hit the ability if you have to. So, geez, poison goes down the queen. Still raise healers there. Going to take that in that queen. No problem. And in come the bowlers right from the nine. Just want to take that funnel, get that funnel going, have the bowler step up and start working their way up. Basically take out this chunk. I let the, uh, get this baby drag down. I decided to drop that baby drag to help the bowlers out. Because once these Valks go up, my idea is the Valks are going to go into this compartment, go up to this corner, end up at this expo, which doesn't quite die, which is exactly what I thought. And then beat their way up through the wall under the rage and under the heel. Now, for a second here, see these little group of Valks? They're locked on in this clan castle. I see that. I hit my ability on my queen. Make sure that clan castle goes down. And lo and behold, Valks reroute up to the core with everything else. Right under the rage. Healers and bowlers join. I plan for them to walk up to 12, but it's even better that they join. They're now standing in there under the rage, getting huge value. The healers lock on to the Valks. Bowlers take care of the air defense, just like an HGHB. Boom, boom, boom. I bet a lot of the mines are on the outside of the base. So these two healers inside are going to get great value. They're completely safe. And look at this, right? We're 60, 70% into the base. I still have six healers alive, three bowlers in there. Queen is going to be A-OK -okay to clean up from this side around. Drop a wizard, a couple minions on the outside. Just let these Valks and King work their way around. This base is done for. Kablam. Blue Veiler, guys. I'm, try I'm telling you. Just, just conserve your healers be smart about where you're dropping the bowlers be smart about your little queen walk that you're doing send the valks up the middle of where you created your funnel and heal them and rage them accordingly and i'm telling you you're gonna have huge success at town hall nine i'm not seeing anyone using this attack but i'm three starring a lot of bases just uh with that attack <clears throat> all right moving on a couple more town hall nines we're going to get into the 10 versus 10 action here in one moment Z Bear want to show Z Bear. Z Bear just went up to Town Hall 10. This is basically be his last attack as a Town Hall 9. RIP Z Bear. <clears throat> From the recaps at least. So he's going to show us what he does. Literally shattered Lalo with bowlers every time. The the, the go bow Lalo, whatever. He always makes fun of me because I always say it wrong. Is it just go bolo or is it go bow Lalo? You're using Lava Hounds. I, I would say go bow Lalo, but. That just doesn't sound right. <laughs> Anyhow, and on this attack, he wants to charge everything into this jump, but doesn't quite get the funnel done on this side in time. So uh, the king and the queen and the bowlers, or some of the bowlers, take a hike around the base. It's not what he wanted, but he's got a few bowlers in here that are just going to be just enough under the raid spell. Take care of one air defense and take care of two air defense. Down they go, and that's all they need. So in comes the Lava Hound number one. A few balloons are in right behind. A couple more balloons keep the funnel going right towards that first air defense. That's all he wants. Only brings the one haste spell here. But down it goes, just throwing everything. Just wants to get the first air defense down ASAP. Because then he can join. Then he can deploy this second Lava Hound right here. It's going to reroute here in one moment. And across it goes ahead of the head of the balloons. Here comes some more balloons reinforcing this kill squad that's now wrapped around this whole base. And it instead of going into the core, it almost did him a favor because, again, ground expo. Um, once this stuff at the bottom's dead, there's nothing, no threat up top. So, it, like, his kill squad would have jumped in here, got stuck in this compartment probably. Um, so it was almost a blessing that the kill squad just wrapped around the base and did the cleanup the whole time. While the bowlers just, or sorry, the, the balloons just gutted the middle of the base. Absolutely smashed it, Z. Nice job, buddy. Z B, my friends, the Lalo God. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Shouldn't say that. Some people know why. <laughs> uh, okay, was that it? That was it, right? Z Bear and I was gonna show Zero's head actually. I want to show Zero's head because it is a classic. He had a, he had a six pack and he had the six pack with the stone stone boho and. Same idea, guys, as the old just stone goho. Um, you're bringing three golems. You want to get a good funnel created using those three golems. 
Make sure the bowlers go right into the base using the golems as the tank. Get your heroes in behind. Get a raid spell down. And you're going to get huge value right with the golems doing big tanking in the base. So you're going to see this wall gets open up here in one moment. Just getting that funnel created all nice and swell. Bam, bam, bam. Wall gets opened. We're going to get a jump spell down right over top of this core. <coughs> Let those golems raid in. He's going to go ahead and drop the king and the bowlers here now. Letting everything in behind. Da, da, da. And goes that king. Heading right towards that jump. Going to get a raid spell down here now in one second. <clears throat> everything goes in. Kablam, kablam. Has 17 hawks. Keep in mind. So the fact that these two sort of uh, very troublesome compartments get uh, taken care of as everything gets into this core. Takes care of that CC. Golem in the CC there it takes a minute for everything to take it down right, but uh, Bowler step up, try and take care of this air defense. I don't think they get it in time, or does it? One more hit. Oh, doesn't quite get it. Uh, so really, there's a little trouble in this apartment, but still, Hogs are now reinforcing from the three o'clock. Get into this base, gets the bomb triggered early, which is absolutely perfect. Starts just slowly, surgically getting these hogs in. All 17 hogs are now in the base. It's going to take care of that archer tower. And there's really only a couple mortars and this wizard tower to worry about for defenses. Like the whole base is wrecked, has so many cleanup troops, four minions, a couple wizards, has a swag heal here that he doesn't need whatsoever. I think he might drop it over this wizard tower just for fun. No, he does not actually. Swags the heal, swags the poison, takes care of this base with the good old stone boho. Nice job there, zero. Sexy six pack. Sure you don't want to come back to Town Hall 9, buddy? No, actually, we need this cane too, too much. You, you rock it at 11 for us, too. Beautiful. Very sexy. All right. Let's move on to the meat and potatoes of this recap. We're going to start this off the very, their very bottom Town Hall 10, level 1 Inferno Towers. Uh, a lot of Town Hall 9 defenses in there. Jamie just decides to bring this uh, sort of boner attack, cold-blooded entry. Gets the golem down. Gets the funnel created. Wanted to get this giant maybe over here just to make sure uh, she tanked that. I think I uh, was worried about the wizard tower. I don't know. Just gets the jump spell down. Hmm, not sure. I would have dropped the giant a little more on this side. You could have created a bit better funnel. But it doesn't matter because jump spell is right there. It's right against the edge. Everything's just going to hop right into the base. Nice raid spell goes down. Good value on the bowlers there. Smashing through this Tesla. Or smashing through this Inferno Tower rather. Down it goes. Hits that king ability. Good job. Poison down on the, on the queen. A P.E.K.K.A. comes out with the baby drag. But the queen hits the ability. Steps up. Smashes through that P.E.K.K.A. Steps up. Takes care of the queen. Takes care of the king. Takes care of that baby drag. Clan Castle is now dead. And we go ahead and send in all these bowlers. Or sorry. All these miners down from the 6 o'clock spot. They're just going to work basically from 6 to 3. Straight across the base. Being healed the entire time. So good value you're going to get on, uh, on the miners. Jamie just smashing through this base now. Just a matter of keeping the miners healed up in the key locations. <clears throat> Does a great job just sort of overlapping everything. Everything meets up uh, around this next Inferno Tower. Now look at all this high hit point around the Inferno Tower. Really good job with that on the base design. But it's just not enough for that many miners in that one compartment. Down goes the Inferno Tower. Down goes that last heal when that bomb goes off. Perfect timing on that. Just going to work through to uh, the Wizard Tower now. Wrap, finish wrapping around the base. Still has the Queen in the core doing cleanup. That is a huge key to this raid as well. Queen has not died. Her DPS has been continuing this whole time. Has enough miners to work through this 12 o'clock section now. Going to get reinforced here in a minute from the ones at 3 o'clock as well too. Queen steps up too. Helps out with the cannon. Just really sexy raid, Jamie. Absolutely smashed it. Bam, bam, bam. <clears throat> Boom. Tree stars in the bag for Jamie. Nice job, girl. Boom. I think, uh, Oh no, Jamie! Uh, Jamie had a pairing. Uh, all we pair off all our town hall tens off to kind of work together in, in groups, and it, it's been working really well. Uh, really great, just war plan overall from uh, from our war generals this war. They were on it, and it really showed, really helped lead us to victory. Uh, so look at this base, right? We're gonna we're gonna see get in the first of these dragon attacks at these town hall ten at this town hall ten level. Grounded, grounded, grounded. So that's kind of the theme here, right? Uh, very easily accessible air defense. Um, these ones are a little bit better protected over here, but um, very easily accessed from this uh, sort of 1 to 2 o'clock uh, location. And we're going to expose that. 
So bring the double zap quake here. Let's take care of the ones that are not easily accessible. Down goes the first one, down goes the second one. <clears throat> Go ahead and jump spell down, rate unlocking the next two. They're super easily accessible. Let's suicide that king in, let's suicide that queen in. Keep in mind only 30, 32 heroes here. So just beautiful job. Let's go ahead down on where we zapped. Get the funnel down, easily created with those army camps. The rest of them are going to go right in at this queen chamber. Boom, boom, boom. King does his job, takes care of that. Queen does her job, takes care of that. Both air defenses up here are down, and they are still doing work. Queen's going to even get more buildings, take care of those uh, take care of those wizard towers. Dragons are just going to move basically from the 7 o'clock spot straight up and through this base here. Gets a baby drag on the outside just to try and keep the dragons in line, keep them moving forward through the base, help out a little bit on that town hall as well. Look at that, just out of range, so the baby drag keeps uh, keeps rage while the dragons are helping out with the town hall. Finally loses the rage, but got way too many dragons. Look at those grounded expos doing absolutely nothing. Those dragons would be having a lot more trouble getting through that core if those were not grounded expos. But just beautiful job, beautiful deployment, good read on this base chatty. Just really got to take care of the inferno towers. Got way too many drags for uh, level 2 infernos to be much of a problem for them whatsoever. A couple more balloons to sprinkle around too. Right on top of that arch tower, good value on that. Gets that arch tower just in time. And there's one compartment to go. That builder's hut at the top. A couple drags left. Down goes the Inferno. A couple more trash buildings and that, my friends, is a treat star for Chatty Boy with the old 1.99.98% three – or sorry, I should say 5.999 uh, three stars this war. So close to getting that six-pack, buddy. Very nice. Very nice attacks. Uh, number 20, Jacob. So, we have one expo set to air here. So, what do we do? We don't go, or sorry, two set bows, eh, expos, all three. All three in this base. So, what do we do? Um, again, shitty part about base building. You know, you, you set those expos to ground to really prevent the bowler minor attacks. So, then it opens you to dragons. Well, let's set them all to ground, and then guess what we're going to bring? Bowlers and miners. <laughs> surprise, surprise. So, let's go ahead and open up that six o'clock compartment. Golem goes in. King goes in. Queen and a crap ton of bowlers in behind. You know, there's 10 bowlers. Now, gets a good chunk of them to go in here, but I would have been afraid of that mortar. Almost all of them could have went to the outside to that mortar, but they all go into the core instead. So good job with that. Poison goes down, take care of the uh, CC troops. Queen's going to mop that stuff up. Beautiful job there. Jump spell, just letting everything in. Taking care of that defensive king, the defensive queen. Clan Castle's now dead. Go ahead and let's send in a bunch of miners from the uh, 4 o'clock location. They're going to sweep basically from 3 all the way up to 12. Under a couple heels the whole time. Just like that uh, raid by Jamie we saw. Beautiful. It's got to work his way over to that Inferno Tower. Really important that that goes down. Fortunately gets it just in time here. Couple more shots. Maybe he doesn't get it. One more shot. Oh, oh, doesn't get it. Oh, she can see the hit points. There's got to be like a one hit point on that Inferno Tower. I missed that. In the uh, Jacob must have been shitting his pants here, but gets a couple miners to just split off from the group and take care of the Inferno Tower just in time. He's got a bunch of miners now with these cannons at the end here. Going to drop one more heal spell, I believe, or maybe just swag the heal all together because really only an Archer Tower to go defense-wise. There goes that heal spell. Didn't need it whatsoever. Had way more than enough miners for this raid. And that's going to be a treat. Stars in the bag for Jacob going in on Water's Law. Great streamer, by the way, for uh, Poetic Darkness. <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Jacob. Sexy. All right, moving on. See, we basically took out all of their bottom 10s using only Town Hall 10 attacks. That really, really helps. Let's check this out. Grounded, grounded, and grounded. So what do we do? Let's go to Dragon's Double Zapquake. Same kind of idea here, right? We got, uh, literally, this is a very similar base just turned. And a little bit adjusted on the inside. Um, as we saw, uh, was it Chad? I think it was Chad. Um, so very similar base. So same attack. Let's zap quake those uh, air defense that are more difficult to get to. We got these two that are not quite as exposed as that other base we saw. 
but they're still very, you know, one jump spell isn't going to connect you to both, right? So much better job by this guy at protecting those other ones. But we're going to go ahead and suicide the king in with the queen. The queen's going to step up once those wall breakers take care of take care of that uh, inferno, to, um, the air defense, sorry. And in fact, she beats through this wall after killing this arch tower. And takes out the Inferno Tower, even though uh, he doesn't does not need it. So drags all in from six o'clock, going right in at this other Inferno Tower compartment. Those Expos just sitting there, not knowing what to do. They're like, "Oh, I wish I could attack." Oh, hey, there's a king on the outside. I can finally attack something, right? Uh, these drags would be getting lit up by that triple expo in the core, right? Even with those uh, Teslas there, uh, it's just not enough. There's way too many of them. Good, good rage spell. Might have just pushed it down just a touch. But as soon as the drags work through this uh, wizard tower down here, they're also going to get benefit. But see if he pushed it down. There they go. Getting the benefit. Take care of those grounded expos. Queen's in there now too. Boom. Just basically one shot this queen. Down she goes. Going to finish off this stuff. And see what I'm talking about? This queen there hits the ability and stays alive just in time. Doesn't quite live through that expo, but helps out with that Inferno Tower, which is absolutely perfect. Now, there's nothing left that can really stop the handful of balloons and the dragons that are in the core of this base. They're just going to work through this like nothing. It's only a matter of time now. A few minis to help with the cleanup on the outside. That's first of two three-stars from a man, PJ. Nice job, buddy. Boom. And... 18 was my man Effie. <clears throat> so, again, all grounded, but we still decided to go with ground. Now, because of that, uh, instead of the cold blooded entry, brings a shattered entry. Very similar attack, though, to that last one we saw by, I don't know, I'm forgetting as I go along here, but the last sort of uh, cold blooded boner we saw this is a shattered boner. Just going to go ahead, get those golems in, pull the CC out, take care of that balloon. That's really the only threat to the to the troops here whatsoever. Sends in the bowlers in from behind. <clears throat> Just going to rock through all this stuff. Has to take care of those golemites. Uh, Drake spell goes down. Boom. Once the golemites are dead, bowlers and everything is going to continue on to this jump spell. Get everything into that core. Get really so uh, heroes are taking care of. It, uh, does not get the defensive king here in the process, but the queen steps up and takes care of this infernal tower, which is exactly what JP needed. This or Fe Fe J Parshall, same guy. This is his ten. Um, but the queen ends up pittering out to that defensive king there, but it's fine. We got a bunch of miners coming in from twelve o'clock. We got two heal spells. Not a lot of stuff for them to get through to get to this inferno tower. Not like no high hit point structures at all. So I really like that. Poison goes down. Right on that king. Heal goes down. Keep the little group of miners that split off. Uh, really good split on that. Has a handful of miners on the Inferno Tower. Handful of miners taking care of that defensive king separately. Everything's moving in. Converting in under that heal spell. Going to work his way through the Wizard Tower. Now onto the Expo. Onto this Tesla. Just getting great value. Second heal spell now goes down. Only real threat here is anything getting stuck on this uh, town hall over there. Uh, but has just enough miners under the heel that they're going to work through that air defense. Sort of kind of keep things busy over here. While everything else just sort of works its way around clockwise here. Taking care of the trash. Everything's going to converge around the 6 o'clock location. Does not have a heal spell though at this point. I think JP was probably shitting his pants at this point. He's like, oh man, that wizard tower is just going to mop my uh, miners up. Because they're going to be standing on this expo here. Watch this. Miners. Miners slowly get taken apart by this uh, wizard tower, but he's got just enough sort of at the bottom here, just enough to get through the expo, just enough troops here to get through this base. Down goes the wizard tower. Oh, just barely. That skeleton trap comes out just a second too late as a wizard in there helping out while the miners do a little tanking on the cannon in the archer tower. Just enough troops by the skin of his teeth Effie comes, Effie comes away with a very 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 clutch three star nice job my friend good to have you back in the 2.0 family uh next on the block oh master beat i used to look up to you when you were in 1.0 buddy used to now we're beating you ha <laughs> sucker no one saw this coming not gonna lie guys i am I'm riding Cloud9 with this victory, as I'm sure the whole family is. No one, I guarantee the entire Clash of Clans world did not think that this was going to happen. And we made it happen. Just beautiful. Hits like this. JJ going in. 34 miners. Only brings the four bowlers. The golem. Um, it just mass miners it. And really good job at it. Gets the minis down just to get in percentage. Getting the funnels created. That kind of jazz. A little bit off in that first mini placement. So readjust, gets the army camp down. 
Goes in and gets the jump spell down. Let's in that golem. Bam, bam, bam. What did he have? Was that two golems in there? Am I blind? What came out of that CC? I wish I had noted that. Uh, we will at the end of the raid. I think it was still just the one golem for some reason. Poison spells goes down, right? Just getting everything good and going. Uh, Lava Hound comes out of the CC, which holds up the king or the queen, sorry, for quite a long time. And then the, the pup burst. But just works through it, right? The poison's already down, helping out with those pups instantly. So queen's going to get up, clean things up. King gets in there. Uh, so this whole top section of the base, 50% of the base is dead. And all these miners are now going to send in from the uh, 6 o'clock, sort of five, uh, 7 o'clock location. They're just going to work around counterclockwise, get through the base here. No heal spells on this side, but has all the rest of the miners on this side. And they're just converging, right? Some going clockwise, some going counterclockwise. All going to converge on this very last compartment. Still has his heroes in there doing work. Queen is at full health at this point in the raid. Just absolutely smashes through this base with his mass minor, JJ. Really nice job. Only a Tesla and a cannon to go. A little bit of cleanup. Down it goes. Boom. Tree stars in the bag for JJ. Nice job, buddy. Beautiful. Mm. So many attacks, you guys. PJ, guess what? Does not bring dragons this time. <laughs> Even though we got two. See, we got one. Is that one set to air? No. They're all set to ground? No, it's set to air. That one's set to air. So one, th I mean, this is a typical setup of what I do. Um, just because it, you just need that one just to help sometimes. It might mean the difference. If you have all three grounded, uh, you're really just going to say, please dragon me. Especially when you have very exposed sort of weird air defense placements uh, like this. It's like, look at this, right on the outside. Uh, and I know this to sort of prevent walks to make the attacker think, but um, you can still do this. Uh, you know, cold-blooded uh, entry with bowlers and then using miners sort of on the back end or the miners on the flank, as I like to say. So you're going to see here, all these bowlers are in, just going to get the push he needs out of the kill squad. Poison goes down, rage goes down, Let get the queen raged up, right? Get the clan castle dead, get the heroes dead, get an inferno tower out of the way. Kablam, kablam. And let's go ahead and set in miners. There's a little bit of funneling work on the outside here early with the minis that were completely safe. So good job on that. Get all the miners in on the high hit points very quickly while they're not taking any damage. So all the high hit point stuff goes down. And now you have the problem here is you have this critical mass of miners moving into these compartments full of defenses with not a lot of high hit point structures to stall them up. So heal spell goes down. Really, those wizard towers and cannon are not going to touch them whatsoever. As a couple wizards helping, keeping everything funneled to get to that last Inferno Tower compartment. Heal spell goes down. It will allow them to work through the high hit point stuff that is doing a good job of protecting that Tesla. It's just not enough. You allowed the critical mass to get into that compartment. And all they had to really do was get through the gold storage under the heal spell take care of the rest of that stuff has one more heal he's going to use here in one moment there it goes keep things healed up over top those last few defenses and down they go and that's a tree star in the bag beautiful six pack there pj boom clutch wow just came to play our town hall tens the ice man bringing the dragons guess what grounded 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 i'm not saying it's going to get you a three star every time but if you have three grounded expos and all four air defense in this side of the base you're just asking for it right uh king is going to take look at that look at the king just taking those point defense to the face well the queen steps up there does the double zap quake on the ones that he knows the queen's not going to get to as soon as the queen gets through this town hall and i know she gets stalled up for a long time but it's not enough Boom, hit that ability, down goes air defense number three, air defense number four. This base now has three ground and expos with zero air defense. Well, what does that mean? We're going to drop nine dragons, a balloon, and a max hound out of the CC right on there to do a little bit of tanking. Basically has this spread of dragons from nine to six and is just going to work through this entire base. The Inferno Towers are really the only threat. Infernos and any sort of Tesla farms, but uh, this guy built his base to have a nice little spread on his Teslas, which uh, isn't a big isn't a big deal, but when you leave it open like that, double zap quake, you, you know, you got to have some sort of Tesla farm. Has two down here that do give him a little bit of trouble, but there's far too many dragons to go. Sends in a couple balloons from the outside here, and the idea with these balloons is, you're going to watch, I believe as they work in here, I believe they eat a couple black mines. Boom, black mine. See ya. 
Black Mine, oh, gets the dragon instead. Uh, but that's why he sent that balloon in there. Just a little bit too late on that one. He wanted the Black Mine to target the balloon like he did on that side. But still, awesome job, right? One, two, three, four. I think he's got four or five dragons. That Lava Hound is still in there doing tanking. Just needs to work his way. This base, by the way, was actually the one that we used the most hits on. You guys want to make note? Want me to make note of bases that gave us trouble? This was the only base, in my opinion, that gave us the trouble. This was the MVP base for Poetic Darkness, um, and Ice gets it by the skin of his teeth here. You're gonna see in a second. Has that Lava Hound out front doing work, right? I remember watching. I was watching this attack live. We're like, go, 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 go. See the health on this Inferno Tower too. Um, I should have made note of that as well. The dragons that end up on this side just 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 missed it really good placement on these teslas see what i'm saying like this is the real threat to the teslas they're locked onto this lava hound now it kind of bursts a little bit too early because that inferno tower is helping out but it is literally just enough here <laughs> boom go through gold storage number one these dragons gotta make it they gotta make it oh tree stars in the back for ice man takes care of business on this base let's check uh real quick that was base 13 right so you can see what i mean like um on their town hall 11s which go down to number seven. Oh, sorry about that defenses okay so town hall 11s fresh hit two star fresh hit two star fresh hit 95% two-star. That was South Fence or number 11. He was going for three on that. Fresh hit two-star. Fresh hit two-star. This base um, on Frank the Tank was the only one that really gave us a little bit of trouble. Jacob ended up coming away with the two. I don't know, actually. Hmm. Maybe one of those three attempts, too, was a three-star attempt for one of our 11s. Um, and then, again, the, the Town Hall 9, fresh hit two-star on their number seven. That set us up so well you guys um all these guys you know tu qc um you know i guess our 11s there um you know you look at you just look at the success there and that that allows us so many attacks on the town hall 10s even though when you look at it see that base 13 was the only one that gave us five hits all these other ones were three starred i mean other than the number nine there look two hits two hits one hit two hits one hit oh sorry i guess number 16 Gave us some problems as well. I didn't make note of that. Um, so that was this base. Finally, I had to use a Town Hall 11 to bully it. Uh, very, very, I've seen this a lot. Very core wizard towers like that. Uh, very exposed air defense. It gave us a little bit of trouble. So that was um, that was the base that gave us a lot of trouble. Uh, the other one, number 13, gave us a lot of trouble too. So I know you guys like me pointing that stuff out. So just again, give you another quick look at number 13 there. This was the guy that uh that really really gave us some trouble but uh you know between di and then Iceman just pulling it out by the skin of his teeth really nice job there okay a couple more and i'm gonna call it a day uh where was i we we're at 13 i got one more zerzi the z man a lot of these bases guys are very similar in design they're not the same but very similar um boom Grounded, grounded, grounded. Let's go ahead, Z. Let's uh, suicide these heroes in. Let's take care of this air defense that is very exposed. Let's take a look at the ones that are not exposed, meaning these two right here. And we're going to go ahead and zap quake them. And does he zap? I think he actually zaps the odd ones here. I love it. This is one of the last attacks that I've watched. I think he zaps these two right in the core, doesn't he? Am I crazy? Because, yeah, he has a max Lava Hound in the CC and he's going to send in balloons, I believe, at this one. Yeah, Zapquake, one go. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I am wrong. Lava Hound in on this air defense. And the reason being, sorry, yeah, that's right. Reason being, he knew his queen was going to walk up this way. Um, wanted to just continue to leave uh, leave this side A-OK. -okay. Uh, has these um, has these uh, uh, Teslas in the Inferno Tower compartments, which pose a little bit of threat. Because he really needs to get all these dragons clumped up. But very quickly, they converge on the first air defense. Very quickly, they start this sort of... Uh, rotation almost and just pushing through the core in this huge group right uh, loses a chunk of them to the outside here which is a bit unfortunate but goes ahead and sends in a couple balloons I believe their job here is to soak up a couple air mines if they get in there just in time maybe not but go ahead and take out that arch tower <laughs> don't quite get there in time because of the sweeper giving them trouble but has so many right so many of these dragons wrapping around in this unison motion loses one to an air mine there but it's not going to be enough 
takes care of that Tesla with the balloons. Nice job there. Just has to work through this high hit point. Elixir storage. Get into the final compartment here at 6 o'clock. Kablam. Down goes everything. Inferno Tower. See you later. Way more than enough dragons to get through the rest of this base. Two being that number. Is it two or three? At least two, we'll say. But absolute beautiful raid. Think uh, think we made PD. Think twice about leaving all three expos down at the Town Hall 10 level. Because, um, as you can see, all those double zapquakes, when you leave the air defense exposed like that and have really good uh, just sort of funneling and positioning, know where your black air mines are, guys. Know where your Tesla farms are, guys. Those are the things that are going to give drags problems if you can manage to come up with a plan for all the air defense and CC troops. But even CC troops or the Queen. You don't have to worry about it with dragons, right? They, they just steamroll through that stuff. So it's really air defense, Tesla farms, high hit point structures, Inferno Towers, all those things you got to worry about. Air mines uh, being the key thing. Anyhow, this is probably like a 45-minute recap. I think it's kind of to call it a day. I actually have to go to the bathroom, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, Poetic Darkness, once again, thank you for the matchup. 2.0, I love you. Never been more proud of you guys. Absolutely fantastic win. Huge, huge, huge green line in our books. Uh, and it's so nice to see our hard work paying off. It's so nice to go through something like a band wave where almost every top clan lost guys. I'm sure guys that they trusted and guys that have been in their clan for a while. I mean, I don't know all the details. All I know is we were one of the only few clans that didn't lose one of our members from Invicta or 2.0. Um, everyone stood standing. Everyone that I've, I've grown with as a family, um, you know, showed that they're, uh, at least up to this point, uh, absolutely legit. And I love everyone in my family, uh, you know, 2.0. Fantastic job. I can't be more proud of you. Anyways, enough about that. Going to call it an afternoon. Hope you enjoyed this recap. This was probably our biggest win ever in one high 2.0 history. So uh, that'll do it here from Wizard from Wiser. Just trying to help to beg that next tree star. Till then, I'm out.